Hey, what's going on out there, YouTube family? This is Sammy Legger here representing Team JVS. I just want to, guys, uh, pub you to something that is very important to me, and that is the Black Real Awards. This is the 22nd annual awards. And if you don't know what the Black Real Awards is or the BRAs, <coughs> it's an award ceremony hosted by the Foundation of uh, Augmentation of African American in film or a uh, f a a a f uh, to recognize the excellence in african americans as well as cinematic achievements in african uh, diaspora in the global film industry and uh it's also assessed by the foundation's voting membership as far as all these awards that we're going to kind of go through really quick the biggest thing that i'm going to say about this is that some of the ones that those films that you found possibly were some of your favorite this year or things that you're like, wow, this was, I can't wait to see if this is going to get recognition. And it didn't, whether it's on, you know, uh, critics choice or whether it's on golden globes or whether it's on whatever, you know, association for whatever reason, um, you may see those films up there today. And today is December the 16th, 2021. And this is the official nominations at this time, all the nominations should be out, but I'm just kind of, going through some of the ones that I felt like were really interesting and surprising. Um, but we can go ahead and kind of go through from the start of this. Um, first up, we're going to go through Outstanding Motion Picture. So as far as Outstanding Motion Picture, the first thing that I see has got The Heart of They Fall. This was uh, James Samuel's directorial. Um, and also he not only wrote, directed, he also produced the music for uh, amazing um amazing western um that i really truly appreciated another film that i feel like most people should know or if they don't then you you owe it to yourself to go and check it out is king richard king richard um venus and serena's father um is 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 a one of the best films this year and i and dare i say it's probably one of my favorites this year um next up it would be passing <coughs> Ruth Nega and um, Tessa Thompson. Um, definitely one of those ones that uh, it's more nuanced, but it's very pivotal and important. It's not exactly what you think it is. Another one, uh, probably one of the favorites, is definitely The Tragic Macbeth. This is Joe Cohen film. Um, Francis McDormand, uh, Denzel Washington, and a slew of other amazing talents in that film and then last but not least is west side story steven spielberg and an amazing outstanding cast now i'll actually go and pull up the list right here for you guys so you can be able to see it in just a second um but for now i'm gonna come back to myself um next is on outstanding director i think what i'm gonna do with this section uh, i'm gonna get you guys this feedback please go in the comment section below uh, from any of these what do you feel like would be uh, a best director in your personal perspective of these films. Um, I have some that I feel like are um, ones that I would love to be up here. And then I also have some that I feel like I understand. Um, but first up to bat is Halle Berry's directorial debut in Bruised. Halle Berry was amazing and astounding in her performance in this one, but she also did a really good job as far as the directing. And uh, I think a good comparison would be Maggie Gyllenhaal with The Lost uh, Daughter. I think she did a good job directing it. Um, Nia DeCross is uh, directing for Candyman, is up for a nomination. Um, Ronaldo Marcus Green for, of course, um, the amazing, which I already said and I already spoke highly about, King Richard, uh, Rebecca Hall for the passing, and then again, James Samuel, the harder they fall. So to me, the one that I feel like out of all of these, is a, it's a toss up between James Samuel and Ronaldo Marcus Green for King Richard and the harder they fall. I, I don't know which one will win, but either one of those, I mean, Holly, uh, Holly could win as far as I'm concerned, but We'll see what actually comes up. And if you guys are wondering why I'm not up here, it's because I'm having some technical difficulties with my camcorder, but I don't want to um, remove the effect of the importance of what's going on here. And not just that, it's really late at night right now as I'm actually doing this one. Uh, this next film 
was actually one of my favorite performances this year. This is maybe one of this actor's favorite, one of his best performances that he's done. And it's a film that some of you guys haven't seen yet because it doesn't come out officially until December 17th, which I will be releasing out an interview with the director pretty soon, which I thought the director for Swan Song uh, could have easily been in the nomination category as well. Um, but Mahershala Ali up for a nomination for um, Swan Song. Um, he was astounding and as well as uh, Naomi Harris. I think she could have easily ended up in the nomination category as well because she did an equally amazing measure of a job as well. Um, next um, is for best. Uh, let's see who else we got with this one. I want to make sure I get through all the whole entire list because I don't want to miss out on anybody. We've got... <coughs> I apologize. Winston Duke um, for nine days. A lot of people haven't seen this. And this is actually in the independence, um, independent film section as well. Um, this film is amazing. Um, I just know that nobody's seen it and I wish more people had seen it. Uh, Jonathan Majors uh, for The Heart of They Fall. Will Smith for uh, King Richard and Denzel Washington for Tragedy of Macbeth. Now, one thing I was going to ask you guys, and you guys, some of you guys know this, some of you guys don't, but uh, this is not the first time that Will Smith and Denzel Washington have gone, kind of gone head to head. Uh, Denzel actually beat out Will um, during the same year that Will had his uh, standout, which was Ali, and instead Denzel won that year instead. So maybe the ties will turn. Maybe this will be a situation where uh, King Richard is going to be the one that's going to actually snag the winning blow this time. So I'm curious y'all's perspective on whether or not which film, which performance do you feel like is going to be the one that's going to actually win? Most of you guys haven't even seen The Tragedy of Me Best, so it's going to be hard for you guys to kind of gauge, but I am curious of y'all's perspective, so let me know if you've seen either one of these films. Next up, uh, for uh, The Heart of They Fall, we've got Zazzy Beats. Um, then we've got Halle Berry for Bruise. Um, we also have got, I want to make sure I bring this up because I think she did a, a, an ama uh, a pretty good job. Um, and I'm talking about Jennifer Hudson in Respect. Um, the thing about it is that the category for Best Actress is so stacked this year. Um, she didn't show up as much as I thought she would um, for what she's done so far. Um, next on our list, uh, we have Zola. Uh, we've got uh, Taylor Page. And then last but not least, we've got Tessa Thompson in Passing. Um, this next film, uh, well, the category is Outstanding Supporting Actor is Coleman Domingo for Zola. He was amazing in this film. I thought that he he was a standout performance. And out of all the different categories, and and I'm not taking anything away from anybody because I think that Jeffrey Wright was also uh, nominated for this with the French Dispatch. I think that uh, Coleman Domingo was the standout for me. Even though you got Idris Elba for the Hardy Fall, Andre Howard, Andre Holland for the Passing, and Lakeith Stanfield for the Hardy Fall. Um, Idris did an amazing job. Yes. Um, but I feel like uh, Coleman just owned that role so much. Um, I'm going to kind of go through these pretty quickly because I'm lingering and ranting a little bit longer than I thought I would. I did not anticipate this, but I have. it, it would believe me not to bring this up because Ariana DeBoos in uh, West Side Story was amazing. I know you guys know I haven't done my review for it yet. I will be doing that pretty soon. Um, I actually should go ahead and actually shoot that review. Uh, sooner than later, which I'll get on that. Um, she was a standout. Out of all the acting performances, I think that she was the best. Uh, but there is somebody else in the same as that reading. Is that's Rita uh, Marino in the West Side Story is also nominated as well. She did equally as good. Um, uh, Anjanine uh, Ellis in the King King Richard, Regina King in the Heart of They Fall. And then Ruth Nega in The Passing. Now, Ruth Nega and uh, Ariana, I think, are the two that are up to grabs, in my personal opinion. But it could go either way. So we'll see what ends up happening with that. 
Next on this list, we've got Outstanding Screenplay. So um, for the screenplays, we've got Candyman, The Heart of They Fall, In the Heights, Passing, and Zola. I just wanted to briefly kind of go through those. Next, we've got Outstanding Documentary. Uh, for Outstanding Documentary, we've got, let's see, we've got Ale. Um, we've got Citizen Ash. We've got my name is Paul. Oh, I'm sorry. My name is Paulie Murray. Um, we've got Rita Morano. Just just a girl who decided to go for it. Uh, and then we've got Summer of Soul. I, I think that Summer of Soul is definitely going to win that. Um, but you never know. <laughs> I don't want to... I don't want to jinx anything. And I don't want to say too much either. Uh, outstanding foreign language films. So this is the thing that I'll say about this. I felt like there were a couple other foreign films I think like could have made this cut. Um, one was Seven Prisoners. Thought that was amazing. Um, what was the other one? There's another film that I saw at two different film festivals. Um, I think the movie was called Salone, uh, Salone, Salone. Um, I apologize if I got the name wrong. Let me see if I can actually make sure I get that one for a film. Hmm. Let's see. I think I saw it at Tribeca. Film Festival. Let me make sure. I cannot find it. Um, yeah, I'll just... I'll look for that another time. But that one was a really good film. Um, there's another one that... Night of the Kings, I think from a distribution standpoint, it, it technically came out 2020, but I think it officially didn't come out until 2021. That was another one that I felt like could have easily have been on this list as well. Uh, but we're going to keep going through so I can go through the ones that we actually do show up here. So I'll just pull that out right now. Um, I apologize if you can't see it. It's a little small right here. Um, but let's go ahead and go through really quickly. <clears throat> so we've got African American uh, or African America, South Africa. You got uh, Bitter Sugar, and that is uh, Tunisia. And then you got Faye uh, Dei, and that's Ethiopia. Okay. And then we have for Best Outstanding Ensemble, we've got The Harder They Fall, In the Heights, King Richard, Passing, and Zola. I think, honestly... And at this point, at this stage, I haven't shown you guys the full entire list just yet, but there's about 20, close to 20 nominations for The Heart of They Fall. And a lot of this, I feel like it's going to be a, a bit of a sweep, um, honestly. I think this is a great opportunity for James Samuel to really get a lot of recognition, as well he should. Um, and I think that I hope that that extends out even further as as time progresses. Um so what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip some of these um, and I'm just going to kind of overview some of the ones that I felt like are really important to talk about. Uh, next one I'm going to go over because the last one was Outstanding Voice Performance um, and that was just for um, the Mitchell's Versus Machines, Spirit Spirit Untamed, Lucas, Mitchell's Versus Machines, and Vivo. I loved Vivo. I really did. I actually, I actually dug Vivo so much that I, I kind of was like, I really want to see Vivo again. <laughs> um, and even even with that, that I also did like the Mitchells versus Machines. I thought that Mitchells versus Machines is a very good film. One of Sony's best um, outside of the Spider-Verse. So I do want to bring that up. Um, outstanding score. We've got Candyman, The Heart of They Fall, In the Heights, Passing, Respect. Uh, for me, that's that's all day. The harder they fall, 
Outstanding Original Song, Automatic Woman, Bruise, Be Alive, King Richard, Guns Go Bang, The Harder They Fall, The Harder They Fall, The Harder They Fall. <laughs> Here I am, sing on, sing my, sing my way home, respect. Um, and then what we got next for this? So we got Outstanding Independent Films. So best outstanding independent films run like this. We've got, let me see. Okay, I got them. Uh, first up on the list, we've got Concrete Cowboy. That's technically came out 2020 um, as far as with the film festivals and such, but it didn't officially come out until 2021. Next on the list, we've got nine days and that is again zazzy beats winston duke and a slew of other amazing cast members that did such an amazing job uh test pattern we've got waterman that is david oleo and lonnie um and then you got zola um, this is for outstanding independent film um for outstanding short film what do we have here let me make sure i can pull that up uh, I think we have 54. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, we got 54 uh, Years Late, which I, I it sounds like an interesting title. I have not officially watched it, though, as far as the short. Uh, we've got Coffee. We've got Door of Return. We've got Junior. And then we've got The Snakes. Next, for Outstanding Independent... Um, documentary we've got a uh, hundred years from mississippi um which looks amazing to be honest with you uh we've got the big chef uh, black hawk i still breathe little stancho and then unzip the autopsy of american inequality which is fascinating um perspective this is this is actually i still breathe um and then this is unzipped right here um outstanding emerging uh director so we've got Halle Berry for bruised um we've got um Jan Ciza Bravo for Zola uh Rebecca Hall for passing Amir Thompson for Summer of Soul which I think that between him and this next one, um, James Samuel for The Heart of They Fall, it could go either way between them two. Um, but yeah, I mean, Holly still is in the running as well. Outstanding breakthrough performance of the male. You got Dion Cole. You got Eddie Garethke, um, You got Joshua Henry and Tick, Tick, Boom. Those first two were for The Heart of They Fall. Caleb uh, McLaughlin for... Uh, concrete cowboy and then anthony ramos in the heights and anthony did an amazing job in in the heights I, I think that the choreography alone for that movie is just astounding and so many different things that i did like about that one um the first screenplay um that is in the heights passing um zola cinematography best cinematography that is the heart of they fall in the heights passing tragic macbeth west side story Definitely, I think that that's a lot for a tragedy in Macbeth, but we'll see. Um, outstanding costume design. That one, it starts off with, I believe, Coming to America 2, um, or Coming to America, The Heart of They Fall, Passing, The Tragedy of Macbeth, and uh, West Side Story. Um, outstanding editing. Um, got Bruised, Heart of They Fall, uh, King Richard, Respect, and Sola. Outstanding production design. We've got The Heart of They Fall, In the Heights, Passing, and Tragic Macbeth and West Side Story. And that is the, the listing. So the interesting thing about this, and I won't try to, I'll try to go through it really quickly so you guys can see it. So currently at this time, if you can see this or not, um, 20 nominations for The Heart of They Fall, 13 nominations for The Passing, nine nominations equally are tied between King Richard and Zola, 
six nominations are tied between In the Heights and West Side Story, which is interesting because those are actually the actual musicals. Um, <laughs> five nominations for uh, Bruce and Tragic Macbeth, equally. Um, four nominations for Respect. Three nominations for Candyman. Uh, two nominations for Concrete Cowboy. Uh, Mitchell's versus Machines, Nine Days, and Summer of Soul. And then the rest are just one nomination as it goes. So what does all this mean? Did this I, I don't want you guys to feel like uh, I was wasting your time, nor do I want you to feel like you were bored either. So um, for me, I, I say that this is uh, an amazing listing. Um, but even deeper than that, it's just some amazing performances. Uh, some of the better performances we've seen in a while. But uh, it's definitely worth um, discussing what works over what doesn't or even um, whose performance really stood out, um, even in their same respective movies, because uh, Rachel and Ariana and the other uh, cast member for West Side Story, I mean, there's a lot of blows between all three of them in the same exact movie. So... Um, we'll see what ends up happening. Hopefully you guys did find some levels of entertainment um, in terms of the Black Reel Awards coverage from Team JVS. Again, if you want to know more about the Black Reel um, Awards, um, you can go to the description bar below and find more details and more information um, about um, BRAs. And this is... Uh, presented in initially in 2000 in washington dc and it's overseen by like i said f a a a f um the real the real the the black real awards um is something that i find very special and i think that's something that you may come to like um moving forward so if you want more information please let me know i'll talk to you guys soon keep it locked jvs wing will stop have a blessed night, blessed evening, blessed day. And again, there's a lot of great content coming. Peace, guys.